parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. As we learned, lines go on forever in both directions. But when we have a pair of lines, it is possible for these lines to meet at some point. Let's look at the following image. If we have two cars, the first one passed through point A and it's moving towards point B, while the second car has passed through point C and it's moving towards point D. If we represent the paths of these two cars by lines, we can see that they meet at some point. We call this pair of lines intersecting lines. As you can see, the intersecting lines form an angle. Let's go back to our image. Assume that we have another two cars moving as in the screen. The two lines represent the car's movement will intersect as you can see, and we get an angle. Doesn't it look familiar? Yes, it's a right angle. We can double check by using our model angle. In this case, we call the intersecting lines perpendicular lines. And we use this symbol to say that the line EF is perpendicular to line XY. Look at these intersecting lines. All of them form right angles. Therefore, all of them are perpendicular lines. But do all lines intersect? Let's see. Assuming that these two cars are moving as follows, the lines representing their movement don't intersect in our screen. But if we extend them, we will see that they meet at some point. Let's go back to our image. Now what about those two cars? The lines representing their movement don't appear to intersect at any point, even if we keep going. A pair of lines that don't intersect at any point is called parallel lines. But how can we tell if a pair of lines is parallel, especially that lines go on forever? Well, there is a way to check. If we draw a perpendicular line to one of the lines and make it intersect the other one as follows, then we draw another perpendicular line at some other point. We get the following figure. Now, if the length of these two perpendiculars is the same, this means that the distance between our two lines remains the same. We can conclude that our original pair of lines are parallel and those two lines will never intersect because the distance between them never changes. We use the following symbol to say that line GH is parallel to line KL. In this lesson, you learned how to identify and draw parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines.